After the family history, you now move to the medication history. In this section, you will ask questions about your patient's current medications. First, you will ask about prescription medications. Again, with a simple question, are you taking any prescription medications? Things like pills, injections, inhalers, and then listen to the patient. If the answer is yes, then you come up with the follow-up questions. Like, can you tell me the name of the medication? What doses do you take? How often do you take it, etc. After that, you might want to remind your patient of some medication that patients often forget. With a simple question again, are you taking any other medications such as birth control? And you go ahead and give them those medications that are often forgotten. And next, you will ask them about the, any alternative medication or over-the-counter medication they are taking. Simple question, do you use any alternative treatments for any health problems? And then you can, again, make suggestions like things like herbal products or homemade remedies, and then listen to your patient's answer. You, or you can ask, are you taking any over-the-counter medicine? Things like vitamins or other supplements. Once you have all this information, then you ask about your patient's drug allergies. Simple question, are you allergic to, and uh, you kind of suggest the common allergic medication allergies. and uh, once you have the answer, if the answer is yes, you definitely want to know what type of allergic reaction your patient had. Was it swelling or rash or whatever reaction it was. And finally, you will have to get information about your patient's lifestyle. And in this section, there are many questions you can ask, as I said. You might ask questions about alcohol use with, again, a simple question at the beginning. Do you currently drink alcohol or have you been drinking in the past? And if the answer is yes, you start your follow-up questions. Like how much a day, how often, what do you drink, beer or wine or liquor? How old were you when you started? drinking. You can do the same with smoking and caffeine use. Just start with, do you smoke? And if the answer is yes, come with a follow-up question, how many cigarettes a day, how often, etc. And then you will ask questions about the recreational drug use. Just simple questions, do you take any recreational drugs? And here, it is important to let the patient know that it is okay to tell you and whatever they tell you will remain strictly confidential. So you ask the questions and if they say yes, then you go on with the follow-up questions. Which ones, how often, etc. As a questions you can ask in this section include uh, question about the patient's sexual life, the reproductive status, do they have children, have they ever had any miscarriages, all this question related to their reproductive status. And uh, you may also want to ask about their occupational issues, how stressful their work is, are they exposed to dangerous substances, etc. You can ask about their hobbies and if they exercise. All these if they are relevant to the chief complaint. After getting all the information, you will now need to close the interview where you will let the patient know that it's the end of the interview 
and give the, give them the opportunity to add any other information or ask any question they might have as you can see in the following role play video well that concludes this section on patient interview thank you for being here and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye.